Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Avir Abbas and today we are going to talk about the topic of introduction to biomedical data science and let's jump directly into the topic. Uh, the contents of this presentation are big data in biomedical data science, a role of uh, biomedical science in healthcare, application of data science in healthcare, future of biomedical data science and encouragement for careers, careers in biomedical uh, data science. So uh, talking about big data and biomedical science, uh, big data refers to exceptionally large and complex data sets. Now you have to focus on two words here. Uh, one is the word which is talking about the uh, size of the data set, which means, for example, mean that the data set has uh, millions, millions, or even billion of rows. Uh, but at the same time, some of you will encounter some of the data sets which are complex. Uh, for example, you'll have data sets that may be in different languages uh, on data sets that may be unstructured. Uh, let's say you have the data sets of uh, uh, health records uh, or chart um, uh, uh, history and physical examination and other uh, data which is present in the charts, right? So biomedical data science enables you to process all this data and it is a skill to make this data analyzable for the prevention and treatment of different conditions. Uh, it represents the digitization of life aiming to extract valuable insights. Uh, and big data offer vast opportunities, but poses challenges due to the complexity, diversity, and volume of the data set. As I said that the data can be complex, uh, you can have a diversified data set. Uh, and again, a type of complexity can be, for example, as I said, that uh, the, num the structure of the data may be complex. For example, you may have data coming from different sources. Within the same hospital, you may have data coming from the lab, from the pathology, uh, uh, or, or from radiology, uh, from outpatient department, from inpatient department. And then uh, at the same time, uh, complex data coming from each one of these sources and then uh, high volume of data coming from each one of these sources. These all situations make the big data uh, complex and complicated and the process of uh, uh, proce uh, the processing of this data becomes complicated. But at the same time, can you, the important question over here is that the fact that it is complex and complicated, uh, would you let such data go, right? Uh, obviously not. And at the same time, uh, when you are able to integrate data coming from diverse sources or you're able to process insights coming from a complex and complicated sources, then you are able to generate insights which nobody has done and that empowers you a lot and you are able to impact in ways which nobody is able to do in the past. Uh, this represents digitization of life, aiming to extract valuable insights. Uh, okay, uh, therefore now we, uh, further talk about biomedical data scientists' role in healthcare or, and the, the role of this discipline in healthcare. As you know that the global population and disease bur burden creates a lot of challenges and the uh, population of the world is going by 2050, there will be around 9 billion people uh, in the world. And as the population is growing, there are new challenges, new uh, uh, type of statistics will be emerging and we will no longer be able to deal with the healthcare problems and the challenging of challenges of the healthcare problem we are facing with the approach which we are uh, uh, which we are currently uh, we will not be able to do uh, manage things the way which we are dealing them right now um, so in order to scale our solutions technology is of key important uh, uh, and technology is essential for addressing these challenges, although healthier costs are rising, right? You have to capitalize in these technologies to ensure that healthcare, uh, uh, optimal healthcare is delivered to each and every person of that. And that healthcare is delivered at a cost that is affordable by individuals throughout the world. Uh, data science is identified as a potential surveyor and capable of improving healthcare outcome and discovering disease cure because uh, I mean, it can. Uh, 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 this will not be in the within the scope of this introductory discussion. That how would data science uh, be able to save it? But we will we will allude to a few aspects of it. But we will not be able to go into a lot of details. But, uh, and uh, but uh, through this video, we are trying to make up a case that professionals, especially public health professionals, 
need to learn a lot of data science to ensure to keep up with the challenges and to ensure that they are able to uh, uh, meet up the demand of the uh, increasing world population. Uh, so what are the applications of data science in healthcare? Uh, you need something which we which I call as data science practitioners. Uh, you have clinical practitioners, you have nursing practitioners, and you may have uh, other, uh, for example, mental health practitioners. But at this point in time, I think it is extremely important that you need you should uh, and the institutions should consider creating more data science practitioners. Uh, uh, more data science courses are needed to be integrated within uh, routine healthcare courses. For example, uh, more data science courses are needed to be integrated, especially into public health courses. Uh, and, and, uh, and the MBBS programs, they have well, you know, like you have five years in that. And uh, I mean, if the institutions, which are regulatory bodies for medical education, they don't consider integrating data science skills into their uh, educational programs, then they're creating doctors which are not prepared to keep up with the challenges of the upcoming uh, in, in the next decade or so. What these can do, uh, what data science can do, there are a lot of things and I hope that we get time in the future videos to cover some of them. But here are some of them, for example, it can create risk scores which can stratify the population into uh, different segments for targeted uh, prevention strategies. Uh, they can automate diagnostics, and that can be revolutionary in terms of reducing the cost of diagnostic procedures, uh, and they can ensure a personalized treatment through drug repositioning. Uh, precision medicine is crucial to tailor the treatment based on genetics and disease risk. And a lot of work has been done throughout the world on precision medicine and personalized medicine. And again, uh, uh, but how is that possible in order to cross implement uh, precision medicine or personalized medicine is through the power of data science that you are able to ensure that everybody gets the exact treatment, exact type of treatment, exact dose of the treatment, exact type of the drug, and in exact time that is needed by the individual. And that is uh, possible through data science. Uh, data science can revolutionize healthcare by personalizing these treatments. Uh, and uh, it, one another uh, area where a lot of work is being done and uh, there's a lot of potential as well as that pharmaceutical industries uh, spend a lot of money and uh, coming up with the right drug to experiment on for the phase one, phase two, phase three, and four, phase four trials. Uh, but that process can also be speeded up and therefore a lot of cost can be reduced by uh, using the right data science skills. So that is another place where biomedical data science can have an impact. So what is the future of uh, biomedical data science? Uh, now, current time, as you know, that health, uh, and there's an era of, new tools of artificial intelligence are coming up. Uh, healthcare, for, for, for different reasons, is always a slow adapter. But at this time, I think that uh, healthcare professionals do not have a choice. And the current data science revolution is compared to the evolution of statistics in the 21st century. Uh, uh, data can provide insights into individual's health activities in a link uh, early problem de uh, detection and personalized care. Uh, uh, Data-driven dri approaches will empower individuals and, and democratize the scientific process. And the future holds promise for more discoveries in decision pre uh, disease prevention and personalized uh, healthcare. Uh, so uh, what I think that a lot of people need to come into uh, data science and adapt data science as career because in the coming World, uh, coming time, a lot of demand for healthcare data scientists is and will be created because uh, you cannot survive without it without uh, uh, being able to process the data in the current era. Uh, one key takeaway from this session is that uh, we have traditionally been thinking in niches. For example, okay, there are doctors and there are engineers and there are uh, IT experts, and now what? The data science uh, brings is the intersection of biology and technology. And it is this intersection that holds the potential of um, uh, 
of bringing up a lot of innovation uh, in the next uh, in the in the in the times to come uh, and the data science has the power to make a profound impact on healthcare and disease prevention uh, and i will quote uh, i will end this talk with the quote from steve jobs which has been attributed to steve jobs uh, who suggested that 21st century's greatest uh, innovations may emerge at the intersection of biology and technology. Uh, with that, uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care for the time being. Bye.